Right, world leaders are concerned about a new COVID-19 variant, and a lot of countries, including the U.S., are imposing new travel restrictions to some African nations. The new variant was first discovered in South Africa. It's been named Omicron. Fox 10's Nicole Garcia has more. Scientists and world leaders are closely watching the newly named Omicron COVID-19 variant. It has not reached the U.S. yet, but the U.S. is taking precautionary measures, implementing travel restrictions to South Africa and seven other countries in that region. We don't know a lot about the variant except that it is a great concern. It seems to spread rapidly, and I spent about a half hour this morning with my COVID team led by President Biden commenting on the decision Friday to implement travel restrictions, trying to prevent the new Omicron variant from reaching the U.S. Quite honestly, these travel restrictions are not a long term solution or even really a very good midterm solution to slowing down a spread of viruses. I, in my opinion, these travel restrictions are a knee jerk reaction. The Omicron variant is so new, there's not much research or information available other than it's highly transmissible and can possibly get around the COVID immunity we have built up so far. And one of the articles that I saw from South Africa suggested that many of these cases are among in like a university type town. And so if 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 it's the case that young people are less vaccinated, as it is the case in the U.S., it could be. And I hope that this virus has been circulating around young people who are not vaccinated. President Biden now calling on world nations to ramp up global vaccination efforts in donating vaccines. And he's calling on the World Trade Organization to waive intellectual property protections for COVID vaccines. The big thing that we have not done is a policy change, which would be to compel both Moderna and Pfizer to share their intellectual property with the rest of the world so that other countries can make their vaccines. The U.S. travel restrictions from the Southern Africa region will go into effect Monday, November 29. I'm Nicole Garcia, Fox 10 News.